Good morning, everyone. Today's a bit, very big day for us. We are gonna be getting that bus out of here. We have a fair bit of work to get done before we can get it out of here. We actually brought someone in to help get it started and we had the bus started. And now Greg has gone to start it again and it won't start. So we've got the batteries charging. We're really hoping that we don't have to buy new batteries and we can just get these old ones charged up and going. So hopefully soon that will be happening. We've got to get all the skirting off and then we've got to pull off the boot room. So the building is just kind of leaning on the bus and it shouldn't be too bad. We're probably going to get the tractor in here and just pull the building back and then we'll be able to drive the bus out of here. We are not sure what we're going to do with that building yet, but we do want to use it for a little while at least because we have nowhere to store stuff so if we can uh, put it somewhere useful where we can keep things in there dry out of the snow maybe we can park the quad in there or something um, we're gonna try and drag it but we'll see it's the floor is pallets and it's just all the scrap wood that we used when we first moved here uh, and realized that we really needed something off the front of the bus to you know take off our muddy boots or whatever and we just have a lot of cleanup to do around here because the bus has been very neglected the weeds are overgrowing on the other side of the bus that is in our main yard and it's just a mess so we've got a lot of work it's going to be probably around 37 degrees celsius today which i think is around 100 fahrenheit so it's going to be really hot and uh hard to work in but we better get going All right, now we've got all these weeds kind of cut back. We can see what we're working with. We're gonna pull down the fence and then we'll be able to just bring, we'll have to just sort through what we've got as a skirting for throw away or keep. Probably try to keep this plywood if it's in good shape for whatever random projects. Uh, probably throw away the insulation cause it's gonna be all gross and wet, had gotten wet and uh, covered in dirt and stuff. So not really worth saving and uh, it's hot. 
I just put these gloves on that were sitting in the sun and now my hands hands are drenched with sweat because they are hot. Are you hot, Greg? Oh yeah. I'm... <laughs> yep. So I had a mechanic come and see if he could get the bus going and all he had to do was hook up the batteries. <laughs> but I haven't been able to get the bus to start today so uh, I charged it up a little bit and let's see if it'll go. I guess I'm gonna have to get the mechanic to start the bus again. Sucks. Sucks. Good thing he's the one driving it. Okay, so I've had this thing on the charger for a while. Actually, I got an idea. Come here, boo-boo. Come here. Can I have a kiss for good luck? Good luck kiss. Let's try this thing out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boo-boo's like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, man. Well, we're pretty much good to go now, except I need to put a seat in. <laughs> that looks hilarious. That's a neutral, right? <laughs> yep. Awesome. I'm happy about that. This is good. Are you ready to lose the bus, Katie? Feeling a little sad. It's just sad. This is our home for quite a while. Someone else is home now. Here we go. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> The original COVID medicine. <laughs> Elk broth. 2019. <laughs> it saved our lives. <laughs> From the drunk junk graveyard. From the hiding spot. How do I undo this? I went down with it. How does it go back up? Oh, that, that must be how. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, that's so dirty. Mm. Oh, is that ever heavy? Can you? 
Hang on, you better clean that out before you take it in more. Alright, Greg is going under the bus and I'm going to hold the top of the uh, bolts in place while he puts the nuts on and we'll get the seat secured. How do you feel in 37 degree? You weather? know what? When I grew up, I grew up in, a, in the province of Saskatchewan, and what farmers did is they wore long sleeve sh clothing all the time, and they said it was cooler than being in a t-shirt. And I mean, I'm actually not that hot, believe it or not. I'm not sitting in the sunshine either, though. That would make a big difference. But <laughs> I mean, the farmers probably onto something. I'm not sure. Do you want to dig up the uh, P-tube? Not a chance, <laughs> but I kind of have to. Our original plan was to kind of clean things up as we go, but we're finding it's just going to be easier to take away everything that the bus can't drive over, leave everything else, and then get it out of here, and then we can come through and clean it up with, you know, we can bring in the tractor bucket or something to just have it nearby, throw in the trash or the save pile or whatever and take it out of here. So we've just got to cut the um, plumbing pipe that went into our gray pit and then pull off the boot room and then we'll be ready to get it out of here. We're going to get it out of the driveway and park it at the top so that tomorrow morning when this person comes to drive it on the main roads, it'll just be straightforward. They can just jump in and go and get it to its new spot. That's what Drano's for. That's so yucky. The things you find when you pull your plumbing apart. <laughs> Very gross. Thankfully it doesn't smell because it's been sitting for so long, everything's kind of dried out. Ugh. Gross. Hairs. Hairs. So we were thinking about pulling the boot room off of the bus, just pulling it back that way. But Greg thinks that he'll be able to maneuver the bus just past it. It's not attached at all. It's just the roof is just built up over top of the bus. So I guess we'll try to move the bus and see what happens and then decide if we're going to pull it off or not. If we can just zip it past without really doing anything to the boot room, then that would be a lot easier for us. So in a true this off-grid life fashion, we're just going to wing it and see what happens with the back blade. Yeah. So I'm going to come in here with my tractor. I've got quite a bit of <clears throat> dirt piled up here. This is originally where we had our cistern, but I'm going to come in with the tractor <coughs> and try to level everything out so that the bus doesn't have any trouble getting out of here. So that's the last thing we need. <laughs>
Okay, so that's not working. We're gonna have to pull the boot room away, uh, which I think is, it's good that it didn't go because we do have the roof fence and stuff on top and then the, the roof of the boot room goes over the bus. So we probably would have broke something if it did work. So I think this was just the universe or whatever saying, no, that's not the right way to do it. So we're gonna get the tractor in here, get some straps, I guess, chain. And, and chain and pull it away from the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Don't wreck the grass. <laughs> You crying, Katie? Yeah, I just had a meltdown. <laughs> so this <laughs> was that? driving away. It's a mess underneath there. This right here. We never touched this ground. Right here. It's always been underneath the bus. And this is cool. We can do something with this. No. <laughs> Big change. It feels so empty here now, even though there's shit everywhere. It's just like, it was always kind of like the, the line of our yard, I guess. You know, we had the bus and then everything over there was the yard and our space. And now it's just like wide open and just crazy. Feels crazy. <laughs> feels chaotic, feels sad, but I'm very grateful that we had the bus to go home. Big changes.
<laughs> it's nice in here. Maybe we'll just give the house away and come back into the bus. Yeah, we should keep it. This is a nice spot. There's like the breeze coming off the lake. <laughs> yeah, we should. We could have done this the whole time. <laughs> we started our YouTube channel in here. Mm -mm. We didn't. We started after, actually. Yeah. Remember when we first got together and you were building this out? And you always wanted to sleep in here. And you're always trying to get me to come and sleep on this couch in front of the wood stove because it was so cold in here. It was the middle of the winter. I'd have and to get up like five times a night to feed the wood stove because there was not a lick of insulation in here. And he was always trying to get me to sleep out here. And it was terrible, but cute, romantic. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get the bus through our driveway, through all of the tight spots in the forest and uh, park it where it's easy for the person to drive it tomorrow. In 2018, Greg and I were just roommates and friends. We lived together, we weren't romantically involved, and he brought home this bus and he had plans to renovate it, turn it into a home, but he wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do when it was finished. He could either take it on road trips or he could find property and live in the bus. It was right around the time that we first started seeing each other in a new way and Greg had heard about a piece of property and we went out to look at it. I wasn't too sure but he was really into it and so he pulled the trigger and decided to buy it and in December of 2018 we moved the bus onto our property and we had absolutely no idea what we were doing. We've had so many trials and tribulations living on the land especially in the bus in the early stages from frozen water pipes to electrical mishaps just learning everything about everything living in the bush and this bus has been a part of our family as we've learned to become self-sufficient off-griders and whole people i think there's more appeal in living in a school bus compared to an rv because there's just a little bit more personality and you can really make it your own unique little space. So we moved the bus onto the property and we really were embarking on an epic journey. <laughs> we had no idea what we were doing and we really just were jumping in with both feet and it worked out well. I mean, look at us now, we have a beautiful home to live in. It's not finished yet, but we have done everything ourselves, and we've learned so much and our relationship has never been stronger. And while it's really sad to see this bus go, we have sold it to friends and we're really happy that it's gonna be with someone that we know who's gonna really enjoy their time in the bus as well.
The challenge with the bus is that the back end swings out quite a bit when you turn the corner. So we just want to make sure that it doesn't hit any trees when we go around the corner. So far, so good. Now we got lots of room. Juniper, stay. Stay. Kind of makes me wish we kept it and just like went camping with it and just lived in our old home anywhere we went camping. You can make a small bus. Uh, I only have a thousand things to do before that, Katie. Maybe one day. One. You don't even know about bus life, Juniper. All right, this is where she stays for the night. That went pretty smoothly, I think. I'd say. No issues at all. No. Letting go of things is crazy. <laughs> Walking away from the bus. Uh -huh. I feel weird. You're all messed up. I'm all messed up. Emotional style. Yeah. Any last words for your home? I walked in and, and like the smell of the bus, the familiar smell, I said to Greg, it smells like home in here. <laughs> it's uh, it's bitter, a bit weird. It's bittersweet. Yeah. It's bittersweet. <laughs>
Now that we have a just about a blank slate here, we're going to get our boot room. I think I'm going to convince Greg to cut off this weird roof because it just looks so weird and I just think it'll look a lot better if we shorten it down. Maybe we'll take some scrap plywood and cover this so that anything that's in there is dry, but we'll kind of see. So we're gonna drag that over next to the house so that it's out of the way. And then if you've been watching us for a while, you know that we had our cistern over here. We had a gray water pit and I started planting berries kind of around the edges. So we're gonna, this is actually a lot higher over there than it is behind me. So we're gonna try and bring some of this dirt down just to level it out. And then we also want to swale the earth a little bit so that when the water comes down our driveway, it's gonna go off into the forest and not all into here because we, we end up with a ton of sediment and stuff just building up wherever the, the water slows down. So yeah, we do have a huge bag of grass seed. It's a little bit old. So I'm not sure if it'll grow, but we are thinking about just getting some grass down here right away if we can see how it does because it is the middle of summer. It's pretty warm out, so we'll see how that goes. A uh, quick update, Greg has just been moving a lot of earth. I've been digging out the lilac bush because it had a lot of soil built up around it from when we dug out the cistern. We uh, took down our fence and we're just kind of leveling this out a bit better. If we can plant some grass here so that the weeds aren't taking over, it would be really nice. But yeah, we're just gonna push this dirt back that way just to give it a little bit more flat space. Don't waste them. 
Oi! <laughs> Before we continue on any further, we're gonna get this boot room pulled over, I think just over there at the edge of the bushes until we figure out what we're doing with it. I'm not even sure if we need to keep it because now that we don't have animals in here, I want to get this cleaned out. I want to pull off this front wall so that we can go in and out easily. We can kind of beef up the sides a little bit so that anything that's inside of there is dry. And then I think we might have like a good workshop sort of area. We've got a, when I was in the city on my trip, I went to Home Depot and got a brand new planer, which I'm really excited to use. I hope we get to try it out soon but we're gonna get everything set up in here so that we just have all of our big tools nice and safe in there. And we do eventually wanna get rid of this stru structure as well, but we need to use it as a workspace. <laughs> we should have built a workspace first, but we didn't. We like to do things wonky around here, <laughs> right? When the farmers settled in Saskatchewan, they built a barn for the animals and they slept with their animals and then they built their home. They needed a workspace. <laughs> we need a workspace. <laughs> yes. So we're going to get this old boot room pulled out of the way and then we're going to have a beautiful lake view from our living room. Hell yeah. Juniper, out. Come on. For everyone that is concerned about our building post going into the ground, this boot room is made out of pallets that have been sitting on the ground for four years, I think now. The building's still standing. It's not falling apart when we're tugging on it like this, so I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, so we didn't move it all the way back, just a little bit. We're gonna tie in our existing fencing for now, just so that we can keep our, I mostly just wanna keep the goats out of here. And they've been breaking in, so we haven't been able to let them out for the free forage. So if we can tie this section of fence in, that should be okay. Maybe we'll put in two posts over here so that it's really strong, and then those, little butt heads can stay outside of our nice yard. I'm only happy when I'm dirty. <laughs> Let's go to the lake. Let's go to the lake. Come on. 
Pickle Juniper. Oh, come on, boo boo. Let's go. We'll get her. Go for a swim. Good girl, yeah. Do a dance underwater? No. Come on, do a dance. <laughs> with my arms and not my legs. Oh, there's a cold pocket. <laughs> Nobody peed, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I peed. I peed.